Here I'm releasing the two screws that holds the water pump to the cylinder head. There's a bracket over here that needs to be released. There's two nuts holding it. Then remove the connector to the camshaft sensor. Remove one side of the connector from the bracket. Then the bracket is loose enough to just move to the side. Then remove the cylinder head water inlet. There's a couple of nuts holding it in. Then you will need to remove the two studs to be able to lift the cylinder head. Here I made my own bracket to hold the harmonic balancer. It's not the prettiest, but it works. It's only a thin piece of metal. Here I'm placing a puller on the harmonic balancer. It takes a bit of work to remove the harmonic balancer, but eventually you will get it out of the way. Before removing the harmonic balancer, make sure that the engine is at its zero position. As you can see here, I thought I was going to be able to remove the last piece by hand, but I had to put the puller back on. And there we go. Here I'm releasing the fuel lines.
you should be able to lift them off and put them to the side, just like this. Then we go for the dreaded alternator. Well, it's not too bad when the engine is out of the car. There's only three bolts holding it in its place. It seems to be a common fault that the alternator fails. So if you know that the alternator is bad, change it while you have the engine out. It's much easier. Make sure to put something under the engine while taking this bracket off, otherwise it will fall down. Then there's two hidden screws underneath here. Then there's four screws left, two on each valve cover. Then you should be able to pull the front cover. Please follow me in the next video where I will keep tearing the engine apart.